Our school could win free jandies for a day just by taking these slips that you get from your homeroom teacher and taking them to jandies and getting 20% off your jandies and putting them in the Snorkel High School box. And we're already in the lead by eight points. So keep it up and we'll get free jandies for a day. Hi Phoenix Nation, this is Ms. Nelson. And I have some exciting news for you. We are sponsoring the first ever Phoenix Spooktacular. And this is a Canathon event. It's going to start today through next Wednesday, and you're going to be collecting cans in homeroom. The homeroom with the most cans by weight, not by number, wins an ice cream party. In addition to this, we are also sponsoring a trick or treat event for the community. This will be this Saturday, October 27th, from 5 to 8 and Wednesday, October 31st, from 6 to 8. Your entrance fee for ages toddler through fifth grade is one canned item. There's going to be uh, drama kids and other SHS clubs that are dressed up as storybook characters and action heroes, and they're gonna be handing out candy. This is an opportunity for you to earn community service hours and other clubs can sponsor and bring candy or come dressed up, anything you wanna do. Anything to help out. All of the food that we collect as this canathon is going on will go to the Fairmount Food Bank. Thank you very much and come talk to me. So the underclassmen have been saying that the faculty team is going to be going down tonight on the football field. What is your opinion on that? I think the seniors are going to get spanked by some old ladies, some old tired ladies that get sore and hurt. The seniors will get spanked. Well, we'll just have to see how that is on the football field tonight. Um, I'll meet you there. It's on. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Lineman Chance. And she is going to tell us who she thinks is going to be the biggest competition tonight at Phoenix Nation. Well, I'll be totally honest. The faculty will be the toughest team to beat. The seniors, you're going to All right, we'll see how that goes tonight at the and football field. And then, just a minute. Prater, come here. Come here. Come here, Prater. They don't stand a chance, by the way. Now, here's the other thing. We've been practicing <laughs> with the sophomores. Yeah! We only get to play one team, so you should fear the faculty because we're the best. <laughs> a second team. Yes, that's right. You are going down. I'm going to plant let her, Just let her keep talking practice. smack. Now, but if I had to pick a... Number two team, our backup team, I would have to say, it's the sophomores. Because I'm telling you, you don't want a piece of this, this boniness, <laughs> this boniness hurts. This, it hurts, trust me. <laughs> she plants you that in her, it's gonna hurt. Okay, well this interview is over with and we'll see the real. what I'm talking about. Snorval, who do you think is going to win in the Powder Puff game tonight? We are! No, they're not! What? The 13th Annual Latino Youth Leadership Conference will be Saturday, December 1st at Emory University. Those who are interested in attending or just want to know info about it, go to Miss Brookshire room 223. You must register at the LL the LAA.org. And you must turn a permission form to Miss Brookshire by Friday, November 2nd. The SHS volleyball team advanced to the third round in the Georgia State Tournament for the first time in school history. They beat Beach High School in the tournament last night. The volleyball team will be playing this Saturday. We're not sure the time and location, but we will let you know when we know. Go Phoenix! Woo! Come out to score every day on November 5th, 2012 from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. to make a wreath for $30.
A recruiter from ABAC will be at the school for seniors on Friday at 2.30. If you're interested, please sign up in the counseling office. You just go whenever. All right, good morning, Sonoma High School. Glad to see you all in the halls this morning and hope you're having a good week. Wanted to share a little bit with you about uh, what's going on at Sonoma High School. Uh, just a few things. The Job Expo is going to be Thursday uh, up at the Recreation Department. Sonoma High School will have a booth there, so we will represent. Um, Ms. Powers and uh, Coach Vaughn will be covering that activity. Also, it's uh, for our faculty and staff, it's Gene Week, and those monies collected for Gene Week will be going to support the bridge. The bridge is an organization here in Calhoun and Gordon County that uh, assists families, and our teachers are donating $5. Students, if you want to be a part of that, you're welcome to do that. Uh, any amount is appreciated and uh, accepted, and again, the monies go towards helping families here in Gordon County. Also, I want to send a shout out to the JV football team for a great job uh, Monday night, last night, uh, against Gordon Central, and encourage you all to come out and support our varsity uh, football team and cheerleaders and band uh, this coming Friday night as we travel to Gordon Central. We want to represent our school and our community well. And I uh, hope that the football team uh, plays uh, like we did last Friday night, plays hard and fast and uh, have a, uh, an opportunity to win and spoil the season for uh, Gordon Central. So guys, ramp it up this week and work hard. Also, just to, in the way of student announcements, we have a uh, softball banquet Thursday and Coach Hayes is going to recognize a lot of outstanding seniors. And our volleyball team, this is a huge one. Uh, today at 5 o'clock, students, I hope you can come out like you did uh, the other night. I promise you, uh, based off scouting report, uh, we're going to have some competition tonight. And it's going to be important that you as a student body show up to support our girls and uh, the Lady Phoenix uh, volleyball team. Uh, serve time is 5 o'clock, so hope that you can make that. Also, our competition cheerleading squad will be competing in Dalton this weekend in their annual invitational tournament. And um, the uh, region tournament is November 3rd, which is the following week, and it's back at Dalton as well. And then our state competition for our competition cheerleaders uh, is November the 10th. That's a Georgia high school competition. Uh, and then on another note, uh, our FFA students, we have three that will be competing at nationals this week. And I'm going to have the opportunity to travel with a, a group of our students and teachers, um, Dr. Clark and Ms. Williams, as we go to uh, Indianapolis to be a part of the national conference. And so I hope you'll keep us in your thoughts and prayers as we travel. And I think that pretty much wraps up everything. And I hope that you have a fantastic uh, week. And uh, again, we have a little less than nine weeks left in the semester. If you got that progress report a few days back and it wasn't favorable and it wasn't what you want, let's ramp it up a little bit and work harder to make it what you want it to be. We're here to help you with that. Come see uh, your teachers, come see counselors, find us as administrators, Ms. Stewart, Mr. Waters, and myself and we'll see what we can do to try to find you some help. Hope you can feel the heat coming off of this flame, off of the fire. It's the Phoenix fire. Have a great week. Go Phoenix. Hello, I am Cameron Brookshire with Becca Gentry. And we're gonna tell you about Shop at the Phoenix. December 8th, 2012. What do you need to do to be able to shop with the Phoenix? I'll tell you right now and right now only, so pay attention. Okay, so you and four of your friends get together, donate $20 a piece to contribute to shopping with the Phoenix. That's 100 Com Complete your paper along with the $100 and turn it into student services. No longer later than November 16th. Make sure to mark December 8th on your calendar. I wonder what's going to happen that day. <laughs> I'll tell you right now and right now only, so pay attention. <laughs> the kids from the feeder elementary schools will be here at 8 o'clock to meet their Phoenix shopping buddy. Like her. These children will report to the cafeteria for face painting and a prize. At 9 o'clock, report to the buses so we can go to Walmart. They will be in Walmart from 9.15 to 11 o'clock. After we leave Walmart, we will report to Trinity Baptist Church to eat lunch and to meet Santa Claus. 
also to wrap the presents that they bought at Walmart. The kids will leave with a great experience, so make a team and do it. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Where's everybody at? Where's everybody at? Okay, I'm, I'm bored. I need to know. Okay. You're all here. Everybody hands in. Let's go. <laughs> all right. I can't see you. How do I get in? I don't even know how to get in. Just go. Just go. Go straight. Go straight. You're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bumping into somebody. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, we're in the tunnel. Oh my god! It's so scary. I've got wet stuff rubbing all over me. I don't. I'm going right. Keep going forward. I feel like we're all eating now. Starting. There. Josh, Josh is in the corner. <laughs> Stop the drop. Wait, no, Trey's still moving. Keep going. Keep on rolling. Rock. Please. Yeah, please. Yeah. Nope. I'm already ah. stopping on somebody. <laughs> They're scoring there. <laughs> okay, I don't like being by myself. Idea. I don't like this. <laughs> Wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Mark! <laughs> oh my gosh. Mark, over here. This is not good. Okay, take a left. There you go. Watch out for the corn. Take <laughs> I don't know where we're going! <laughs> I have a feeling we just walk in a circle. No. <clears throat> How long is this freaking straight? I feel like I'm... Is it just am I out of the maze? No. Ah, the corn! I'm in the corn. Turn around. Mark. Marcus. Marcus. Okay, come this way. Come on, Marcus. Come on. Dad! Oh, that's Marcus. Does it go? Marcus wins. What? Oh my god, I did it! Woo! Josh. 10 feet, 5 feet, 1 foot, that's the best 3 feet ever. And you're at. We're out? Yes. Oh my god. How do we do that? We went through a quicker blindfold than we did yesterday. Ladies, look at your man. Now look at me. Now back at your man. Now back at me. This is a yearbook, and you should buy one. This is a rainbow. Oh yeah! Yearbook's like $60. So you need to talk to Miss Haley and run 233 for more information on this wonderful product.